on the Q100 route. You can see right now our nearest airport is 113 nautical miles off our right side. So we have a, we're on Q100 and we're going to be picking up the Q105 into New Orleans today. Currently yeah, at 30,000 feet. And right now we're showing about uh, 189 knots indicated. Permanent. And if you look and see, we have a headwind right here. If you can see that 52 knot headwind. So today's flight time showed us about 2 hours and 30 minutes. And we're showing a 307 true airspeed. And we're going to be burning 152.9 gallons of fuel. Our route today, we uh, departed uh, Miami Opelika. We had the Winko transition. We went LaBelle, a couple fixes there over Sarasota. And then out here on the Q100, we got Remus, intersection Rozzy, Redfin, uh, Fatso, and Harvey into, we're going to go into Lakefront there, just uh, on the north side of the city of New Orleans. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, the different uh, intersections they come up with. Fatso, I wonder who uh, thought of that one, huh? I asked the Miami controller today what the Q100 route stands for, what the Q stands for, but they didn't have an answer for me. Like I know out on the east coast of the United States, you have the Atlantic routes, and you know, it starts with like AR-16, but uh, I was wondering what Q stood for, so maybe if you guys know what that is, uh, that'd be cool if you guys drop it in the comments. You guys can also find me on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all at Steve one Canevo. One of my uh, Facebook friends asked if I would show today how to find the appropriate power settings. So uh, one true, true, way you can find hey, your appropriate like power settings, let's just hey, say for cruise time. power here, is you're going to pull out your POH, the TVMA-50 Pilot Operating Handbook. United 14 to 59. So pulling out your POH, your Pilot Operating Handbook, what you're going to do is go to your performance so section. What you're going to look at is the uh, temperature. We're at 30,000 feet, and it's uh, negative 35 degrees Celsius. At. So you're going to come over here, and there's all different types of uh, sections. You got ISA negative 5 degrees Celsius. We're uh, at ISA, right at ISA. So you're going to scroll to the page you need. American. Now you're going to over here is your altitudes. We are at 30,000 feet and it's negative 35 degrees Celsius, which you can see right here. You're gonna want your torque at 95%. Fuel flow should be around 55.5 gallons per hour. You're gonna have an indicated airspeed of about 195. True airspeed of 315. So you've got all your different airspeeds you can see right here for your different weights. So since we now looked into the charts and we saw what our power setting would be, that's what we're going to come up here and look at your gauges. It said we wanted to have 95 on the torque. That's where it's set up. We had in the notes of the uh, power settings, it said you want your prop to be at 2,000. So as you can see, our prop RPM is at 2,000. So it all matches up. And then you can come down here to your shade and trend monitoring. And it said we should be getting about 50, let's see, what did it say? 55.5 gallons per hour. We're actually got a fuel flow of 53.7, so we're actually getting a little bit better than what it said in the charts. And as you can see, we're past coffee time, 40 minutes to the airport. If you remember one of my older videos, my uh, boss and I, we've always come up with a good time for coffee time is one hour to destination. So another way you can check your torque in the TBM is with your iPad and your TBM torque app. TBM Torque app is very easy to use. You got your two different tabs. You got a climb tab and a cruise tab. Each, each phase of flight, you're going to have different settings. So we're going to set the cruise. We uh, checked our uh, temperature over there in the temperature gauge. Negative 34 degrees. So in this little box, you're going to scroll around and you're going to get to negative 34. There it is. Over here, you're going to find your altitude that you're at. Since we are at flight level 300, we will scroll to 300. So now you're going to see we have negative 34 degrees outside air temperature, 300, ISA of zero. It says we should have our torque at 99.
33.9, United 14.57, take care. But basically, that's right where we have our torque. So that's actually an easier way to use Southwest compared to looking at all the charts zero, of the POH. A lot of people ask me why I don't use four flight on the iPad. To me, it is a very useful tool. Uh, I prefer not to use it because I don't always want to worry about always making American, sure my batteries are charged in the iPad. I like to have the paper plates in there, so I know they're always going to be there. There's not going to be a glitch of the iPad somehow not turning on or the battery running out. So that's the reason why I don't use Four Flight. I, like, I prefer the paper charts just due to the reliability of knowing that they're always going to be available for me to use. There you have it guys, a little, little look over the left wing here. We are way out over the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. What's cool about being out here is you're actually going to see a lot of different oil rigs. So since we are out over the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, far beyond gliding distance of land, what I do on these flights is I get a raft on board. We have an eight person life raft, I put it right in the seats back behind us here. There's two options for life rafts. You can, you can buy one. They are not cheap, and you're gonna always have to get them recertified every so often, which costs a lot of money. Or you can go with the option that I use. We basically only go over water a couple times a year. So I choose to rent a life raft. Who I use is FBO Logistics. You can call FBO Logistics up, you tell them your, your airport, you're going to be departing and where you're going and the dates you want it, and they'll have... Tango Bravo, contact Houston Center, 13217. 32178511 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Houston Center, good afternoon, TBM 851 Tango Bravo with you, 300. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, Houston Center, roger. So opting for running the life raft is a lot easier for me. So you'll call up FBO Logistics, they'll deliver it right to your FBO of your departure, and you will send them an email showing, telling them where you're going to be going. We're not on five, single x-ray contact. And it's a lot more convenient compared to owning a life raft. Plus, you don't have to worry about always storing it somewhere. All right, guys, look at this. Beautiful view of the Louisiana Bayou. You got all the different waterways out there. That leads right up into New Orleans. Yes, sir, that's what we got uh, programmed in is the Mendo 2. Okay, uh, clear direct T-nuts intersection for the Mendo to uh, 09. All right, we're direct to the airport, and we're in our descent. We'll check, let's get the ATIS here. Six front airport information, uniform 2053, Zulu, wind 010 zero, zero, at 8, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 10, zero, 2.4, altimeter 3018. Runway 36 left, visual approach and use, note of all pappies out of service, except runway 36 left, and bright activity in the vicinity of the airport, advise on initial contact, you have information uniform. All right, we have information uniform. If you guys can see over there to the left, you're going to see that waterway out there. You'll actually see a lot of big ships. The ships coming in from the Gulf of Mexico into Louisiana, New Orleans, they all enter through that waterway in the bayou over there. That's the main artery for all the ships. So I don't know if you guys can see that out there, but uh, you can see quite a few ships out there in the uh, waterway. I'm taking a Bravo. Contact approach 123.85. 2385. One Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Yeah. Approach, good afternoon. TBM 851 Tango Bravo with you, 11000. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, no one's approach. Runway 36 left at Lakefront. One able navigate to Godrig, G O D R G, for runway 36 left. Roger, let me go direct Godrig and for the 36 left approach, 851 Tango Bravo. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, heading 300 for now. Roger, we'll go 300 on the heading, 851 Tango Bravo. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, descend and maintain 6000. Uh, 6, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, so they broke us off the arrival. We're now on uh, radar vectors. American 1179, Connect Houston Center on one two. And we'll be going three, into five, uh, runway 36 right, left. 2635 for American 1179. Good day. Which should give you good guys day. a good view of downtown. Good day to you. And Southern the French Quarter. I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking forward to enjoying some gumbo. Inside at one to two o'clock. The seafood miles. dish here. They. Special TBM 41 New Orleans. for visual approach runway 22 Navy New Orleans contact tower 123.8. TBM 1 Tango Bravo to center maintain 3000 turn right heading 320. 3000 and 320 on the heading for 851 Tango Bravo. TBM 1 Tango Bravo start reducing speed. Reducing our speed 851 Tango Bravo. So we're reducing our speed. We're following some traffic and it's probably considerably slower than what we are. 
And actually, guys, uh, you'll, the French Quarter is also right out there in front of us. That's the historic district. That's actually where I'll be staying for the next two nights. I've got a nice hotel room right down on Bourbon Street. Have the field in sight for 851 Tango Bravo. 851 Tango Bravo, Roger. Clear to visual approach. Runway 36 up Lakefront. Contact Lakefront Tower, 119.9. 119.9, we're clear for the visual for 36 left, uh, 851 Tango Bravo. Good afternoon, Lakefront Tower, November 851 Tango Bravo with you on the visual for 36 left. 1 Tango Bravo, 36 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 36 left, thanks, 851 Tango Bravo. 1 Tango Bravo, traffic 12 o'clock, opposite direction, 2 miles, Cessna 1500 feet. Roger, we got him in sight, 851 Tango Bravo. 77 Quebec, traffic opposite direction, 2 miles northbound of uh, TBM descending out of 2000 has you in sight. Cessna 77 Quebec, we'll be looking for traffic as well. They put us traffic. really traffic. close to this guy. Rescue one, stand by. And then 74 Juliet, right turn to enable ground 121.7. I mean, this was a ridiculous vector. This guy, we you're not going to see him on the cameras, but he is right off our wing. We are a little bit higher than what I want to be right now, but that's only because of that traffic that I had to stay above. There's a TBM on two mile final, three six left. If I would have descended my normal pat pattern and approach, we would have probably have hit that guy. Thank you, four seven echo. That was kind of a little bit of excitement there. Romeo, three six right. You always got to. Keep on your toes. And keep your eyes out the window. It's a nice runway they got here. Three six, three six left. It's actually a pretty cool airport to fly in and out. I really do enjoy this. I think this is my second time coming into this airport. I like the. Uh, there's a helicopter too. We might get another traffic alert here. There's a helicopter right off to our at about a one two o'clock. We got our two red and two white, so we're right on the approach path. Nice 110 knots is what I like to shoot the approach when we are in this flap configuration. Rescue one, you got that Cessna side ahead of you. Right, and we'll go back to flight idle. Roger. Boomer 704, 36 left, line up and wait. Uh, and there we have it. Welcome to New Orleans, guys. TBM one Tango Bravo, right, one able, ground point seven. Roger, we'll be going right on to Juliet and over to ground. Thanks for your help, one Tango Bravo. That's affirmative, I can clear him easily. Turning on golf and uh, headed to flight line. Head for Juliet, not a problem. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And Lake Front Ground, November 851 Tango Bravo, clear of 36 left on Juliet, need to go to Landmark Aviation. November 851 Tango Bravo, Lake Front Ground, text via Bravo, cross runway 9 Bravo, and we're going to cross runway 9 -er. thanks, 851 Tango Bravo. In TBM 1 Tango Bravo, there's a Cessna up ahead, if you don't think you can get past him, Taxi left onto uh, runway 9 and then take Foxtrot to landmark. Roger, we'll check out this little situation here, and if not, we'll take uh, runway 9 and Foxtrot into the ramp. 851 Tango Bravo. All right, guys, what do you think? See the Cessna coming up? And one Tango Bravo, the tower controller is actually asking him to move up so you can continue on Bravo. Okay, Roger, I see him moving. We'll be able to get in there. So we'll cross 9 and Bravo into the ramp. Thanks for 851 Tango Bravo. Okay, so that situation has resolved okay, itself. Six, which Bravo said, right and here, we're crossing a uh, Niner, and we're looking clear. Cessna 512, Roger, just see if even they always cross the, uh, traffic pass in. Even though they always continue. give you permission to cross, I always double check. We'll be using Landmark Aviation on this trip. That was a real nice smooth flight up from Miami up to New Orleans. It was a very enjoyable flight going over the Gulf of Mexico there. It was fun having you guys on board. Hope you guys enjoyed the flight and uh, enjoyed some of the information I was able to give to you guys. And like always, we uh, hope to see you guys again someday soon.